people beginning to change. The Antichrist is preparing the hearts of men. 1 John 2, 18 and 19 Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. The Antichrist is coming. He is already preparing the hearts of men. And we can establish this because people are beginning to change. The level of lawlessness in our world is alarming. Yes, all of us have sinned, and even Christians sin after being born again. But we now live in a society that celebrates and cultivates sin. We live in a world that calls good evil and evil good. There is a great falling away of the world and the church, as the Bible rightly says. People have turned over to sinful ways, and immorality is being celebrated by society in general. We are getting set for the next phase of biblical prophecies that will unfold. The Antichrist is preparing the hearts of men before he will be revealed fully. The spirit of the Antichrist is already at work in people, and they are beginning to reflect the characteristics he will exhibit when he comes. There is already a falling away taking place in the body of Christ. Some have become apostates. They have not only erred from the truth, they are teaching false doctrines and turning the hearts of men to falsehood. Jesus Christ did not die on the cross so that you can have a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, or a Rolls Royce. Jesus Christ did not die on the cross for you to wear Fendi, Louis Vuitton, or Dior. Jesus Christ died for your sins and transgressions so that you may spend eternal life with him. The doctrines of prosperity is now largely preached above the gospel of the cross, which is able to save sinners. People now have itching ears and cannot endure sound doctrines. 2 Timothy 4, 3 and 4 For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. Here are warning signs that your church is led by the spirit of the Antichrist, and not the Holy Spirit. Your church avoids holiness. Your church avoids the topic of sin. If you attend a church that never mentions sin or holiness, be very careful. If your church is shaped by the society, be very, very careful. All these are indications of the working of the Antichrist in the hearts of men. People who have been given to the things of God are suddenly turning their backs on God. Those who once preached the truth now deliberately choose falsehood. The workings of the Antichrist in the hearts of people does not exclude the church. That is the reason we must earnestly contend for the faith that was delivered to us. Jude 1.3 Apostle John said there are already many antichrists, a sign by which we know that we are in the last days. 2 Thessalonians 2, 6-8 says, And now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The mystery of iniquity, which is to precede the coming of the Antichrist, is already at work. The Bible calls it a mystery, because people will do silly and unimaginable things, and they are already happening. The lawlessness and iniquity in the world now is just a sign that the Antichrist is preparing the hearts of men. When he comes, he will have zero tolerance for anything that is of God. The emissaries of the Antichrist are out there, giving us a shadow of the reality to come. 
The hatred which people are exhibiting for the things of God now is just a sign that the Antichrist will be hostile to anything that has to do with God. More than any other time in history, people's ears are itching to the gospel and the hearts of men have become blunt to the need for righteousness and morality. Romans 1, 28 And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. When people fail to acknowledge God, they are given over to a corrupt mind to do those things that are not convenient. They begin to do things that are senseless without restraint. People are already covenanting their souls to the devil. They are living as an extension of the Antichrist on earth. Certain policies made by governments of some nations proves that the Antichrist is already taking over the power of nations. Certain bills that promote the works of the devil are being passed into law. These are signs of inequity which 2 Thessalonians 2.7 speaks about. We shouldn't accept the world to get any better than it is now. We are in the last days. Corruption will keep increasing. Iniquity and lawlessness will rise until the saints are raptured and the Antichrist is revealed fully. Jesus told us in Matthew 24 that there will be famine and rumors of war and that nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. All kinds of evil you can imagine are being practiced in our day. The hearts of men are getting more desperately wicked. All these are not happening for fun. They are fulfillment of prophecies. We must prepare our hearts not to be carried away by the things happening around us. Neither should we join multitudes to do evil. This is a time we should deliberately allow the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts so that we won't be drawn by the prevailing evils in the world. If you make your choice to follow the Lord, the Antichrist cannot have your heart. Embracing and supporting sin is another sign to know that the spirit of the Antichrist is gaining ground in your church and in your life. In recent times, a lot of churches spread their arms wide open to receive all manner of strange doctrines and patterns to suit the world. Remember what the Word of God says about friendship with the world. Friendliness with the world will forever mean hostility with God because the ways of sin are not the ways of God. When we spread our arms wide open as a church to embrace sin, what we say is that sin is reigning in our mortal bodies. As believers, we're meant to war against sin and everything that has to do with it. Supporting sin means trivializing the sacrifice of Christ, which God will never take lightly with anyone. When I say this, I am not referring to ungodly discrimination that scares non-believers away. I am talking about taking our stand as God's children and doing the right thing, regardless of what people think or say about us. Many pastors today feel shy and awkward to tell their members about the truth of the Word of God in a bid to look more progressive. Some intentionally refuse to instruct or correct people the way they should do because of the fear of not being blessed with money and material things by their members. All these are signs of the Antichrist. The act of supporting or embracing sin is not only applicable to the church, it also has to do with the home and family as a unit. When parents fail to teach their children the way of the Lord, the children will definitely prefer to embrace sin than to follow the Lord. This is a symbol of the end time and a sign of the Antichrist as seen in 2 Timothy 3, 1 and 2. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Another dangerous sign that the spirit of the Antichrist is at work in your church is the tendency to shape your church according to the pattern of the society and the culture of the world. 
the Bible tells us who the God of this world is. That is the devil who sponsors the spirit of the Antichrist. 2 Corinthians 6, 14-18 says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Each time you choose to align with the way of the world at the expense of God's will, you are boosting the ego and authority of the spirit of Antichrist. The God of this world is an enmity of God, our Father. As believers, we must come to the consciousness and complete agreement that the world has its way of doing things, which is in everlasting opposing the way of God. No matter how you try to rebrand it, the practice of the world is sin, pleasure, and flesh, while the course of the Lord is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Those two ways have nothing in common and can never blend because God will never lower His standards to the standards of the world. Neither will the world succumb to the way of the Lord as well. When you see your church agree more and more and more with the world, it is a sign that the spirit of the Antichrist is coming into your church.